everyone I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Precision 7530 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade and or remove the RAMs in here and what are the combination of the RAM you can have in here I really like these laptops because they do have actually a really rare four slot RAM them available in here there's an actual physically four RAM slot that you can remove in here unlike any other laptop even the high-end laptops that they make right now even alienware's they have all the ram chips soldered on the board but that's why i still like really these laptops and in this video i'm going to go over how you can upgrade those we have upgraded this one up to 64 gig with no problem we can go 32 gig without any issue and this one it comes with that 32 we can add another 32 so let's go into it first thing first you want to power it up you want to flip it upside down and we're going to see a cover here this cover has few screws we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver set and i'll be using an ifix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there we're going to be using a phillips zero and we're going to start loosening up all the screws on the bottom the screws have a little c lock on the other side that will prevent the screw coming out entirely so pretty much you just have to uh, rotate and lose them and make sure once it's, it's like a loosen and that's it you just want to leave it there you want to do this all around even the one in the middle and i hope you guys liked my videos if my videos help you guys out you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area i appreciate that all right, once you remove all the screws, you want to grab it from the back corners and you just want to wiggle it around a little hard and pull it up. So this is your bottom cover. And right away, we can see there's a RAM slot, empty RAM slots right in here available. Because from the factory, they put the RAMs. And I am guessing that there was not enough space to put it in here. So they have the other two RAMs on the other side. That's a little harder to get to, but having it is still good. So you have two RAM slot available in here. You can put a 16 gig, another 16 gig in here. So for 32 in here and 32 on the other side. So this is a DDR4 RAM. So when you want to put a RAM in here, you don't need to disconnect the battery at all to do this RAM upgrade. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those paranoid people, if they want to do it, you can disconnect the battery by pulling this flip thing upward and it will disconnect the battery. But it's absolutely not necessary and it's not required. To put the RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. So there's a tiny notch right in there. We have to make sure the notch matches. So if you try to put it the other way around, let's say I'll put it this way in, it's not going to go into. So pretty much what you want to do, you want to make sure the notch matches and you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle into the RAM and you want to pinch it right in there that it goes all the way in and the RAM will stay in a 45 degree angle. Once the RAM is in there, all you want to do, you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hear, hear and see these two triggers open and close, just like that. And to remove the RAM, you want to push these two triggers away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. So you can pull it back out and there you go. You want to install the other one, make sure the notch matches. Doesn't matter the orientation of the stickers or the RAM chip. So pretty much I'm pinching it in 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to push it towards the motherboard. And there we have it. To remove this way, RAM comes up, slide it back. Do not, again, I'll repeat, do not pull the RAM towards the ceiling. Otherwise, you're going to crack the RAM or the DIM. Slide it backward in the same angle that it came out. So that's how you can upgrade or remove the RAMs that are easy accessible on the bottom. Now, to access the other side of the RAM, now we need to remove the battery. To remove the battery, remove the three screws. One, two, three. Three screws that touches the battery on the top portion. All right, once you remove these three screws, you want to disconnect the battery and just lift it up. This is a pretty hefty battery. Put it to one side. You want to grab yourself a tweezer. You want to, on, with your fingernails, lift up this cover 90 degree upward. This one's too, or you just use a tweezer to lift them up. And now you want to slide out this flex cable. This is for a backlight, for the, I'm guessing for the nipple, if there is any. And this is for the keyboard, keys. So you want to make sure all these are loosened up. 
Now you want to flip it upside down in a normal position. Now you want to grab yourself an opening tool. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. You want to see these gaps right at the top, tiny, tiny holes right there and the right there. You want to stick the opening tool right in there, and then you want to just push it down, and it's going to remove, lift up the bezel. Uh, so you want to somehow stick your finger right under the bezel, and then pull it up, and go around gently. When it's not coming up, you don't want to do it more, otherwise you're going to break it right there. You want to stick the opening tool right there, and then just help it out in the corner too. Once you have it in here, again, you want to lift it up, wiggle it around like this. Put your hand right underneath, 45 degree, lift it up gently, and it will come out. This is the bezel. That's how you remove the bezel. Now, down here, we need to remove six screws on the keyboard. There are one, two, three screws on the bottom row, and three screws are hidden in between the keys. One, two, three. This one does have a nipple right there, so that extra flex for the nipple mouse right there. All right, so remove these six screws. Now all you need to do is to lift up from the bo side bottom here, lift it up gently, just do a little bit. Go to the side, you wanna lift up the whole tray. You wanna hear it from the side here, you wanna hear those click sounds. There should be three of them right there. And do the left and right. Make sure you don't damage the keys, you go on the tray, bottom tray. That's what you wanna do. There you go. Once you got those ones in there, now you want to lift it up from here. Put your finger under the keys, right under the tray. You want to lift it up. Oh, I missed one screw right in the middle. So there should be three of them, one, two, three. So lift it up a little bit. Once you lift it up a little bit, about one centimeters, like that. You want to bring it towards yourself a little bit so you can release the back clips, bring it up, and now you can slide it out. If you're sliding out gently, make sure the flex cable comes. Don't pull them up hardly. Once you remove the keyboard, there's a cover for the RAM. There's one screw that holds it. Remove this tiny screw. Now you can slide it forward a little bit and lift up the cover. And there you have your other two RAMs. To remove the RAM is the same thing like that one. Pull these two triggers away. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. Now all you want to do, pull it back in 45 degree angle. 16 gig DDR4 and another 16 gig DDR4. So there we go. So you want to put it like this in 45 degree, push it towards the motherboard. 45 degree, push it towards the motherboard and you can lock it down. And that's how you can access the other RAM. Now, you slide it back in, put the tiny screw, and you're gonna grab the keyboard, you slide the flex cable under the hook, put the back side, slide the back end on the wide by under palm rest, Bring it down, make sure you push this flex cable under the keyboard. Once it's in there, now you wanna push the corners, make sure you hit the three clicks in here and three clicks right on the other side. Sometimes it's harder to hear, sometimes it's soft, so make sure it's sitting down nice and flat. Now go ahead and put the six screw that you remove, three in the middle of this keyboard and three on the bottom row. Now we're gonna grab the framing or the bezel and we're just gonna push it down between the keys. You wanna go around between the keys and push it down. You wanna hear those click sounds. Those are the hooks that are getting in. Do all around. And wherever you see that it's lifted it and you wanna push and it's gonna do nice and clicking. And that's when you know it's in place. Okay. Now we're gonna close it down. We're gonna flip it upside down and we are gonna connect the flex cables. Slide them right under the 
Jack. And close the lid. Slide them right underneath. Close. Slide it right underneath and close. Now you can grab the battery, bring it over, put it on top, and push down the connector and put the three screws for the battery. All right, and the last part is to just grab the bottom cover. And make sure you put it in a 45 degree angle on the front end like this, this front side, and then bring it down while you're holding it. Hold it down and it started screwing it down and it's gonna pull the cover to itself. And whenever you see a little opening, you can just pinch it down and it's gonna pull a snap in place. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.